Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel and uh, uh, it's easier to shoot videos like this. Everyone is busy here. Liana is always here as well. <laughs> Say hi. hi. <laughs> How are you guys? So, uh, this is just gonna be a weekly um, rundown of the reef time, okay? Stay tuned. All right, let's start. Um, uh, it's just a small upgrade. So this is uh, an airline tubing. So I've cut it into pieces and then one side cut into half so that you can um, clip it on the on the top of your glass. So if you have a bigger tank, of course you're gonna get uh, you're gonna need a bigger one. Or you can just lower down the the water level to avoid salt creeps because I've been having uh, huge salt creeps on that on that area there where the uh, mesh cover stand or sits. So I put uh, those thingies on all the sides to just lift the holder up a little bit, maybe. Um, one millimeter so that there's a space so i've seen this one in one of my um, flu volleyball groups in facebook um, to reduce salt creeps on on the uh, rim of the tank and also our auto feeder still going has uh, well i filled it up a little bit but um, it's still going i'm just uh, looking at how far the battery can go and with regards to our tank mates they are still okay acropores are gone um those two sticks there which um algae is growing on already and um so our auto feeder um i've reduced it to one feed only a day because uh, before I've been doing two and maybe it's in contributing to our green green hair algae uh, not going away even with no fox and vibrant which uh, uh, supposed to kill them but um, it hasn't um, gone you know um an outbreak or something but it's still um controlled it, it just grows on some parts of the tank so um here we've got a hairy mushroom the recorder mushroom is not looking good because uh, maybe it's twisting itself torch and hammer is they're still doing great they're still on the process of splitting heads um, we we did a uh, fourth round battling Aptasia as well using Aptasia X well these were small ones and hopefully um, they won't go back <laughs> I wish and they, they will come back again and then we'll do it again it's just a continuous battle isn't it once you have them in your tank they'll never go away and also we've got our acans it's it's got uh, small polyps at the bottom so we've got one on the left and then two on the right if you can see here one there and then one there at the bottom bit so which is good it's, as, it's actually a good sign isn't it and um, toadstool is growing as well look at that it's a uh, huge and my wife said she really really loves loves the toadstool it's it's good and this one it's growing as well so now it's on the process of increasing its uh, width or girth so the skeleton is growing outwards and it's also growing with the with the new tips there 
new horns got two and then the white tip there is, is growing as well so it's good and then there's a little coral there I'm not sure what it is if you guys know what it is um, can you please ID this one it has a base skeleton but I don't know it's too small to really um, identify and also I've got an aptitia at the back there I'll sort it out later and coral and algae is growing fast as well maybe that's why I am the tank is dropping 1 dkh every two days and we might need to supplement on that to um, supplement their growth also this week or their mushroom also seems to be twisting itself and hopefully we'll got We'll have two, two rec green Ricardeo mushrooms as well. And of course, our beloved green bubble tip anemone who's been um, sick the whole time for the past three months and still hanging on there. Hopefully, it recovers fully. Uh, our GSP is not extending much it's polyps but uh, look at that it's still growing upwards it's nearly on top already so look at that it's almost over the um, archway we made on the montipora there plating montipora this plating montipora is growing as well as you can see the white rims that's that's a sign of god I, I thought it's, it's going um it's gonna bleach out before but it's uh, it's the colors back so it's growing fast as well and yeah we'll have to keep up on on the uh, calcium and alkalinity they're uptaking look at that look at the rose bubble team <laughs> still moving around hasn't found its place senior is doing fine as well back to pulsing petals which is amazing mesmerizing to watch so our torch is is uh, loving the new rodi as well um it's um so we've got one two three four five um heads the main two heads are already split perfectly so we can frag that already but I don't have the fragging tools so leave it for now hammer is splitting heads as well maybe that's why it's not it's not happy um hopefully it split its head soon and shows its hammers again it looks like a star uh, I don't know <laughs> can't say it <laughs> but yeah um, also, we ran out of, of test kits for alkalinity, phosphates, nitrates, magnesium. So I've got a new one. Uh, it showed 0.6 phosphates and one nitrate. So our phosphate is our problem. Maybe that's why we still have green algae patches growing inside the tank. It's it's still controlled because we've been dosing no box and vibrant um, maybe we just need to increase our vibrant dosage to one meal twice a week because I've been doing it one meal once a week and no box I've turned it down to 0.2 meals every day because I can't seem to raise my nitrate up to one parts per million but now it's on one parts per million so it's good so my aim is five parts per million at least and then below 0.1 parts per, per million for the phosphates that's our goal hopefully we can achieve that one so um our well with regards to the auto feeder i think we're gonna have to stop it soon because um every time we approach the tank the fishes doesn't care anymore 
is before um, when we were feeding manually once you approach the tank they come to you right away but now it's like um, they know their time already because it's been there for three months now and um, uh, they know their time there they know when the auto feed auto feeder turns um, which is um, you know well it's okay to have it when you're busy and when you're out and about but um, when someone is in the house always to take care of the tank maybe you just keep on feeding them manually because you know it's taking away the um, satisfaction of feeding your your pets isn't it so yeah I'm just testing how far the batteries can go so and then after that we're gonna take it out and um, the uh, Blenny this one <laughs> on the middle it's ag I didn't know it's aggressive as well <laughs> It's been uh, fighting with the uh, Ras and the other tank mates to protect its bur other to to protect to protect its um, rock crevices or its its place. So yeah, be mindful <laughs> of that one as well. But it's really cute. And also our clownfish is still on the wall. <laughs> They can't seem to see our beautiful rose bubble tip anemone with the pink, pinkish, and green color, luminous pink and green color. All right, so see you guys soon. I think that should be it. Thank you for your time. If you are new to this channel click the subscribe button if you want to follow on and join me in this weaving hobby